Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cook Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Had a member ask how to make tassels. So, let's just put down a regular rectangle, or you can use a square and twist it however you want to. Set it to the height of the tassel that you want. If you want a 3 inch long tassel, set it to that height. Um, the length is going to be... Uh, however you know thick you want it if you want a nice thick tassel make it longer okay um, if you want it longer than 12 inches then flip it like this and put it on your 24 inch mat okay um, but for right now I'm gonna leave it like this all right now how do we get all of the little wiggly thingies cut in there right just come down here grab a line now understand, sometimes grabbing these little guys is a bit difficult. You're going to grab it, and you're going to place it. So think about how much uh, space you want up here that's going to be not cut into the little wiggly things. And then place it and pull it. And you want to pull it all the way down to make sure that you are touching the bottom. If you don't know if you're touching the bottom, come down here, blow it up, drag it over, drag it up okay actually I can get rid of this now you can get rid of your library now let's come over here let's find our little line yep it's touching good okay very important to be touching let's come back down here you can put a 4150 whatever you want now leave that highlighted come up here to object duplicate total columns well let's just put it to two for right now because you're going to want to come in here to the horizontal spacing 0 0.100 0. hit enter ah that looks okay set your horizontal spacing to what you want the distance between or the size of your little dangly thingies to be cut at okay so if you want them wider or thicker then set it to wider or thicker. If you want them to be narrower or thinner, then set it as such, okay? And then don't sit here and keep hitting that. Just come in here, make a guesstimate. Let's try 100. Hey, that's pretty close. I'm happy with that. Then hit OK, all right? If your guesstimate is a little off, then just change that number. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to object group them. And then I'm going to highlight both of these, and I'm going to set that to the middle. That looks okay to me. If I wanted to remove some of them, object, ungroup, so that my starting off glue can have a place to grab, I could just come in and do that. Okay. All right, now we're almost done. Come up here object merge okay that will cut in there let me show you if you what happens if you <coughs> path union remember path union is a melting that's exactly what happens so don't path union object merge let's do the preview there's your cut <coughs> let's come up and take a look at yep so there's our cut lines. All right. And this does extend a little bit past it, and that's okay. It's What that's going to do is that's just going to ensure that you have a clean cut in your leather, your faux leather. Okay? Um, if you have a significant amount hanging over, yes, you may want to back that up. Or if you don't like that sticking out there, you can always come in and do a node edit and clean all those up if you don't want that sticking up there, okay? But for myself, I prefer to have just a tiny little bit hang over so that I can sure that there is no little hangers left there and I'm not pulling and stretching that uh, faux leather or leather. All right, guys, if you have any questions, come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.